Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I figured since I have makeup on, I would film another video because I do not wear makeup every single day. And from my first two videos, you can tell I pretty much look like a hot mess. So, well, you know, all the time. So I figured, well, I actually have makeup on. I'll film a, another video. I wanted to do a review on the brand Medusa's Makeup. Um, Medusa's Makeup is an indie makeup brand and they are vegan and cruelty free. Um, I discovered Medusa's Makeup by watching a video of uh, another YouTuber. Um, I'll leave her name in the description box. Her videos are awesome. She's super cute, super bubbly. Um, she has the month or had, I don't know if she canceled or not, the monthly subscription service for them. And I'm one of those people where if I'm not familiar with the brand, I'll go on the website and I'll look and I don't know what to get. So I signed up and I've received three months. I think so far um, and it just kind of takes the guesswork out of what I want to try and everything that they've sent me is stuff that I have really liked and probably would not have purchased myself like if I went on there and had to pick something it probably would not have been any one of these items but they're they're really great um, so I'm gonna go through the products and tell you what I think. Let's see. The first one I'll show. And these, by the way, all came out of the subscription, the monthly subscription service, which is $15.95. And that's the shipping's included. And you get three to five full size products, and they're all from the Manusa Makeup Company. I've never gotten five. The first one I received was the February box, and there was only three. Um, and then I've had months where I, like this this month, there was four, but I've never actually gotten five. But I'm hoping. Um, the first one I want to show is, this is one of their blushes, and the packaging, like, I don't know if you'll be, okay, there it goes, is a pretty, like, lavender color. And I love their... Um, logo. It's a little, you know, Greek. The Medusa's eye. I don't know. I really love the packaging. And this is the blush. Like, I'll hold, I have small hands, but you can see. Forgive me, my dog's over here in the corner. Um, and this is in the color Georgia Peach. Let's see if I can get it to kind of read. And it is a really pretty peachy color with like little gold flecks of glitter. Um, and there's the color swatch. I wear this blush a lot and this blush lasts well over 10 hours on my skin. The glitter is like super fine. So it's not, it's not a super shimmery blush. But yeah, look how big I'll hold it. Like the compact size is huge. Net weight is 10 grams. Like, that is insane. And I, like I said, I love the packaging. So this is probably going to last forever. Um, the next thing that I absolutely love is one of their loose highlighters. And this is in the shade Moonlight. And this is 6 grams. And then there's the cute little Medusa's makeup symbol. And it's loose. Like, that... This is the only loose highlighter I've ever used. I tend to just use this out of the lid. Like it gets a little powdery. This highlighter, you'll see why I use it out of the lid. This highlighter is insane. You talk about a highlighter on crack. This, like, yeah, and it again lasts, like I've, Put this on my cheeks and lay down and taking a nap and it's still there um, and a little bit goes a long way so you can see why I just use whatever ends up in the lid because that's more than enough 
um, because it is intense. The next two products, let's see, I have an eye dust in New Wave, and it's this pretty, I don't know, like dual chrome, like blue, that has like an aquamarine shift. I've worn it all over my eye, like there it is. And I use it wet so that that, this is dry, and so that color is just like super intense and it's very pretty. And again, lasted all, all day. The newest thing I've received is one of their glitters and this is in the color Pegasus and it's a light purpley color with like that holographic glitter. I haven't opened this yet because I'm afraid like it's going to be a glitter explosion. I haven't used loose pigments and eye dust a whole lot. I'm trying to get into it and like broaden my horizons a little bit, but that blue one is really good. I just realized I forgot to grab one that goes with the next thing I'm going to talk about. Move some stuff around. One of the um, months... We got, there it is, I have two eye dusts. The other one I have is in Helter Skelter, which I'm a little bit morbid and um, I like like true crime. So if you're familiar with Charles Manson, that'll, that's what I tend to think of, which, and it's a black eyeshadow. I'm a little bit of a weirdo. It's a black but it's got like a purpley, like it's not like a tr like solid black. There's like a purpley blue shift to it. It's it's really pretty, and that came with this brush, and this is their eye brush. It just says Medusa's makeup on it in red. And when I got this brush, I was like, that is not going to be a good eyeliner brush. Um, this is probably like, I have gotten the best wing I've ever done in my life using this brush. And it came with this little vial and these are all full size. And this is called eyeliner seal. And I was like, what in the world am I supposed to do with that? You mix equal parts of this with any loose pigment, um, they sent the black one, which makes sense, so that you can have like this pretty, like shifty black eyeliner. And it makes, turns any powder into a liquid eyeliner. So the next thing I wanna try is I wanna use the blue and see how that works. It works phenomenally well. And I'm somebody that struggles with liquid eyeliner. And yeah, this stuff with this, it's amazing. I will say the only critique I have is if, I think it's if you don't get the liquid to powder ratio quite right, it says equal parts. When it dries, this color will like sprinkle off a little bit. And so I'll have little and I just have to wipe it off. Um, once I walk around and, you know, move my eyes, it stops doing that, but I think it's because I haven't quite got the right liquid to powder ratio. But other than that, like this brush, I can't stress enough how easy this brush is to use to get a really nice winged eyeliner. This brush is not sold separately. It's sold in a set. I think the set is like 18, but there it is again. Like it doesn't look like it would be a good eyeliner brush, but it is. Um, it's amazing. One of the other items I got was this really cute, and this it just has Medusa's makeup. It's a little kabuki brush. I am I like this brush because it's pink. It's a nice magenta color. Um, pink's my favorite color. I'm not a big fan of these kabuki brushes just because I have a bugger of a time trying to figure out where to store them. But I do use this um, for like fallout or setting powder sometimes. It's just pretty. I just like the color of it. 
I mean, even if I never used it, I probably wouldn't be mad at it because it's pink. Um, another item I got is their lip paints, and I haven't actually worn this on my lips yet. I've swatched it, and I had the worst time trying to get it off my hand. Their lip paints, what it says paint. Um, I'm glad this is in an, a fairly neutrally colored. The one month I didn't get, there was like a neon pink, hot pink color. Um, I'm glad this is a little more wearable. It's like a raspberry-ish pink. Um, but I'm preparing for this to not come off. I've had some Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks um, that, that don't come off. Um, and it did come with the lip paint remover, and this did help get most of it off, but this stuff still didn't even get all this off. Like, their lip paint is no joke, so whatever color you decide to try and put on your lips, you better like it, because it's going to be there for a hot minute. But that's good. I'm just curious to see how it feels, um, and if it's crumbly or not. Um, I have ColourPop. Um, Aquarius too. I have a love-hate relationship with ColourPop. I think that's going to be a video idea. The last thing that I got is a pressed shadow in Bitchin. And this is out of this month's. I can't get it open. Ah! Break a nail. Um, and this pressed eyeshadow can be used probably as a highlighter. I'm going to have to use my teeth. I really can't get this thing open. I really do think I like hmm. just making sure I didn't like break a nail. Ah, straight up, like I said, I would use my teeth. It's a pressed shadow. Let's see if we can get the color. And this is bitchin'. And that is really pigmented. I'm gonna swatch it. It's almost the same color. There's bitchin' right there. And there's the highlighter that I swatched earlier. Like it's almost the same color. So this definitely could be used as a highlight. Um, it's nice that this is more like travel friendly than the loose, the loose one right here. Cause this thing is a little bit messy. Um, I'm having troubles getting the lid back on and, oh, there we go. And there's like highlighter dust all over. But again, yeah, you can see their products are really good. Um, I would recommend trying the subscription service. Like if you go on there and you're like me and you're like, oh, I don't know if I should try this or that, just do a month. Um, their products, like everything that I've got, I've been pleasantly happy with. And it's a company that is definitely worth checking out if you've never tried anything. There are people out there that don't like it, but you're going to run into that everywhere. I'm not a super picky person, but I really, really like all of the products, um, which is why I've kept the subscription service. So yeah, sorry this video is a little bit longer, but yeah. So again, the company is Medusa's Makeup, and I think their products are amazing. So definitely go check them out. I will leave the name with the website information in the description box so you guys can go over and check them out. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked this kind of me blabbering about products. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be doing at least two videos a week. My videos, as you've noticed, are one take, unedited, unfiltered. This is as real as it's going to get. Um, so yeah, hit the subscribe button so we can see where this goes. You don't want to miss out on any videos. So yeah, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day and I will see you all in my next video.